For this lesson, I wanted to talk about a concept that I like to practice. It's a way to learn notes in any key, all over the neck. And as bass players, it's a really useful thing to be able to do this. So if we have a key, for example, the key of C major, which has no sharps and flats, right? The notes are C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Okay? No sharps and flats, really easy key. So we can, we can just learn it like that, right? Just with a basic left hand shape. But that only gets us so far. You know, so we can do the pattern here. We can shift up and do the same pattern here. We can even go a, bit, a tiny bit higher, right? But that doesn't really teach us where all the notes are all over the neck. Just a couple of notes here and a couple of notes here. That's helpful, but not that helpful, really. So what we can do is we can actually play in the key of C major, okay? We can play in the key of C major all on one string. And this is a good thing to practice. So if I play E, if I play just on the E string, the first note's E, okay? Next note's F, G, A, B, C, D, E. And I can go up higher, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. Now I've learned all of the notes in the key of C major on the E string, which is a lot of the bass. It's most of the bass, you know, it's most, it's all of the E string. So now we can do the same thing on the, on the A string. Open note A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. And that's all of the notes in the key of C major on the A string. Let's do the D string. D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. Okay, let's do the G string. G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And since I have a five string bass, I may as well do the, the low B string. So, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. So I've covered all of the bass in the key of C major. I think that's more useful than just doing basic patterns, okay? It's, it's a lot harder, but you learn all of the bass. So if you're ever taking a solo or something like that, you know where all of the notes are because you've practiced this stuff, okay? So it's really useful. All right, so that's all we have time for in this lesson. I hope you found this useful, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.